So I'm going to start with a poem by Adrian Marcus, who is in Art Life um, many, many times and was a dear friend to many of us. Uh, she lived in San Francisco and she passed away. And <clears throat> this is from a book called Magritte Stones, where all of the poems uh, refer to paintings by Magritte. And this is called From the Origins of Language, Painting 1955. And it has an epigraph of, from Magritte. A stone which does not think, thinks the ap absolute. What was the first word like? A grunt, a high-pitched keening over the body. The first emerging, the other leaving. Was it even a word? Or simply the body letting air rush to the surface, like the heart trying not to drown? Then the deep intake, the fresh smell of birth, that bloody welcome, or death, that sour odor the body produces like old wax, thick, crepuscular. Only the stone at the cave's entrance could hear, or perhaps the women in attendance who would make cooing noises, like thin birds flying in and out of a dark place, trying to navigate by light. By instinct, their dull gray wings and dun bodies always hungry. Or perhaps it was rage, all the metallic voices of blood and copper bound up in one unearthly scream. That would be the first word. That would be the last. <clears throat>